All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm bringing you along with me to not one, but to two different estate sales. The second one I'm going to is the main one I'm excited for. There's a bunch of Nintendo stuff that I'm hoping to get my hands on. The first one, though, starts two hours earlier, and it's only like 15 minutes away, so I figured I might as well get up early, put my name on the first list, go over to that second sale, and see if I can find anything. The pictures don't look great on it, but who knows? You never know what you're gonna find at these places. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Wish me luck. Ready? <laughs> All right, then Jessica. That's me. Okay. Dale. Yep. All right, so here we are at the first estate sale of the day. And like I said, this was not the primary one that I wanted to go to. It was just nearby the one that I actually wanted to go to, but it started two hours earlier. So I showed up here, and the only thing in the photos that I was really interested in was this saber tooth bust right here. And that's because there weren't actually a ton of photos for this sale in general. There was only like six of them posted. Not much was really shown, but it turns out there was way more here than I initially expected. As you're seeing here, there were actually a number of toys available up on the shelf right here. I'm kind of just grabbing all of the figures that I'm seeing because the sale's only happening for two hours. I figured the prices aren't going to be bad at all because they need to clear everything out. So I might as well just grab stuff now and look it up later. And that strategy ended up working out pretty well. Not everything I was grabbing was worth a ton of money, but I got some awesome stuff here, stuff I don't see very often. And there were a few good pieces in here as well. Micro machines, nice. Spider-Man. While I love finding vintage toys, they were not the only things that I dug out of this basement. Check out this old camera right here. We got down here some camera lenses and camera. FT. There's a lens in the stock. <laughs> And after digging through the rest of these bins and totes, I wasn't really finding much more that I wanted to grab. That is, until I went to this little side bedroom over here, where I ended up scoring the best scores of this entire sale. Got here. Cubs. That's a cool one. Another Cubs. I was on Screen Stars, 92. Oh, look at that. That is sick. Jordan. That is super cool. 91. <laughs> super Elf. Keebler, 1973. That's sick. Oh, man. There's just so many hidden ones in here. Look at that. Another Bulls and Lakers, 91. Jordan Magic Johnson, that is sick. Oh man, there's a jersey. I just came up. <laughs> Coca-Cola, 23, Bulls jersey. So as you just saw, I absolutely cleaned up in that closet right there. There were some amazing vintage t-shirts, and what's crazy is that no clothing was showcased at all in the photos for this sale. But at this point, my bag was starting to get pretty yeah, full, so I decided to go up front so I could right drop it off car. with the cashier and then keep on hunting. Uh, Marlin's jacket. Starter Marlins? Yep, starter. <laughs> Some more clothing in here. Let's see if there's any more tees, that'd be nice. The tees weren't pictured in this uh, estate sale picture, so never know what you're gonna find. I think I'll grab that Adidas jacket there too. A little Eddie Bauer photography vest. Take that. Nice little Woolrich. Woolrich cardigan. All right, take that as well. 
And after going through all the clothing I could find and dropping it off, I decided to do one more round of the house to see if there's anything else that I wanted to grab and ended up finding some pretty awesome stuff that I missed the first time. Yo, look at that. What a random pickup. 1984 Masters. <laughs> I just saw colors peeking out. So let's check these out real quick. And with those final few finds, it was time to go back up front, get everything priced, and see how much we owed. I was hoping the damage wasn't too bad. Right. Ready for Are me? You ready? I am. Yes. Did anybody I price anything? No, Are we starting I just from scratch. Starting from scratch. Okay. Okay. And your name is Ben. Yes. Uh, you want me to just count out the clothing pieces for you real fast? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, one, two, ten, eleven clothing. Okay. Um, so we'll do like fifty cents a piece. Plastic cups, yeah, McDonald's plastic ones. Cups. Yep. Those are cool. So maybe we'll do like 10 for the whole stack. Works. Okay. Camera bag. It's had a camera and I think there's like two lenses in there. Oh, okay. Maybe do like 20. You do 15 on that? Yeah. Okay. I'll do 15 on that. And we got the toys. Okay. All right. So we got the micro machines. <laughs> and a hat. So let's just call it toys. Um, are you good with 15 on the toys? Sounds good to me. All right, anything else? Nope, that is anything it. Anything else, that's it? 47. 47, sounds good. Okay, you got it all there? I got it, all one right. trip, look at that. Thank you, you too. Um, Thank you. All right, well, I wasn't really sure about stopping in at this one this morning, but I am glad that I did. I got quite a bit of stuff and some awesome t-shirts that weren't in the photos, so that was a great stop. Really happy with that. Hopefully the next one's just as good. Look at that, I ain't gotta walk far for the next sale. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> we're not supposed to open tonight, but I'm like, Oh, hey, do you want me I'll to wait? Get, I'll get okay. the people from the state sale. Socks jersey. It's new with tags. Got 20 on it. Probably fair. Alright, I think I'm good with just the jersey. Okay. I think you had 20 on it, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you Thank so Thank you. Much. I'll leave your hanger up here for you too. All right, so this turned out to be a nice little surprise here. As you just saw, the uh, house directly next door to the estate sale was having a garage sale, and the lady said they're actually doing a whole community-wide yard sale today. So I'm got about an hour and a half to go until I have to be at that next estate sale. So I think I want to hang around here and hit some yard sales real fast, see if I can't find anything else for today. However, I don't think it's going to be part of this video. I think what I'm going to do is have it be part of the $10 to $10,000 challenge that I'm doing. If you're not following that, I have a series of shorts going out. It's also to post on my Instagram and TikTok where I'm turning a $10 bill into 10,000. I think three parts should be out by the time this video goes out. So if you're not following that yet, definitely go check it out. But anyways, for this video, I will pick back up with you guys here in a little bit when I hit that second estate sale where I'm number four on the list and hopefully fingers crossed, that means I have a decent chance of getting the Nintendo stuff. I'll see you there. Oh, yep. Justin. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah. Thank you. So here we are at the second estate sale of the day and things at this one did not go according to plan. Like I said earlier, I was there for the Nintendo games that were pictured, but when I got down to the basement, they were gone. My bag? Yep. Sorry about that. Okay. Mark, what do you want me to do about the Nintendo stuff? Where were the games for the Nintendo at? Unfortunately, they took them back. Oh, okay. The families took them back. Okay. So as you just heard, they said the family decided to pull the games from the sale. They left the consoles and everything there for sale, but they pulled all of the games for all the different consoles, which was very disappointing to hear because there were a few games in there that I would have loved to add to my collection. And it turns out that the games were not the only things missing from the sale. I noticed a few toys that were also shown in the photos that were no longer there, and I heard some of the other guys that were there for vintage t-shirts and stuff say some of those were missing, and I heard another guy complaining that some of the music stuff was 
missing as well, specifically a uh, Slayer poster that apparently came out on 9-11 when all that stuff went down. What was the reason they wouldn't sell their poster? I have no idea. I didn't hear the poster thing. There was a poster thing. They said we had to take it down. I, I heard him say something about it, but I couldn't understand what he said. That's wild. They didn't have the games or anything there, too. Normally, the families don't take stuff back like that. If it's in the photos, it means it's getting sold. Yeah. So that's weird, but yeah. whatever. It's yeah. not something you can control, so. Yeah. So obviously there were quite a few disappointed people here including myself because a lot of the stuff that was good that they showcased in the photos was not at the sale and like I just told this guy it's part of the game that stuff like this happens but it is disappointing when it does happen to you. I was also noticing that a lot of the stuff that was there that I was interested in was priced pretty high you know the Nintendo was at 250 bucks a lot of the vintage plush were priced at like 30 bucks a piece so even if those games were there there was a good chance they were going to be pretty high priced I probably wouldn't have bought much to resell but I might have been able to grab a few for my collection. Either way, when stuff like this happens, you can't dwell on it. I knew it was time to pivot and start focusing on the stuff that was available for sale. There was still a ton of stuff inside this house, and I knew I could still come out on top. Excuse me, sir. Olympus Stylus. Still got film in there. Those are stompers. Two little stompers in there. There are you go. Le Creuset. Six bucks. I will take you. <laughs> Six bucks on that's nice. Alright, I think I'm ready. This is six. Okay, 19. 19. Alright, paid 19 bucks for a pot full of goodies. Those stompers are probably the best thing in here. Too bad the NES games weren't there. Apparently the family took them back, which is really unfortunate. That's what I came for. In the pictures, there were a bunch of them. It's probably 30, 40 games in the pictures that weren't there. Oh well, the car is uh, not looking too bad for today, <laughs> either way. All right, I just finished dropping off everything that I picked up today at those estate sales off at the house. I seen a few more uh, garage sale signs around my house on my way back here, so I'm gonna go check those out real fast, but I think the video is going to end here. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this one, even though it didn't end on the note I was hoping with all those Nintendo games. Hopefully you still enjoyed and you learned something. And uh, if I do end up buying anything at these next couple garage sales, it's again gonna be part of that $10 to $10,000 challenge I'm doing. Again, if you're not following that, you should be. It's great content. I'm really happy with how it's turned out so far. And I've already posted like three videos in this past week. So if you're wanting my content, that is a great way to stay on top of it. Otherwise, that's going to wrap things up. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.